Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Arsenal player Muhammad Al Nene tweeted My heart and my soul and my support for you Palestine. He had a few pictures of people holding the Palestinian flag and a quote that said Palestinian lives matter. Considering the barbaric bombing that is currently taking place in Palestine, more specific Gaza. This has resulted in 192 people dead, 58 being children and 34 being women. While in Israel the death toll is 10 and 2 being children. I mean anybody that is good with basic maths knows who is suffering more here. So for someone like Mohammed al Leni, being an Arsenal player, world renowned to tweet in solidarity for people that are suffering ethnic cleansing, it's human, yeah, it's respectable. In fact it's an honour for a club that someone like this can dare to step up to the mark, right? Well I thought so too, but during this current apartheid that's taking place in Palestine, some wolves in sheep's clothing are making themselves known to the people. One such wolf is Arsenal's sponsor Lavazza, Yes that's right, the crappy coffee company. They said, and listen to this and uh, try listen without cringing yeah. Content of this post is totally not aligned with our company values. Levat the group is fully committed against racism and anti-semitism. And one mug even went as far as suggesting that they should suspend him for that tweet. Apparently according to their criteria, his post is either racist or anti-semitic. I mean you guys tell me, does it look racist or anti-semitic? No. Well it seems like some people have hijacked this term of anti-semitism and it's unfortunate that those people that are legitimately facing anti-semitism, they're not being taken seriously because of mugs like this, no pun intended. <laughs> And does that mean they don't stand against apartheid, genocide and ethnic cleansing? Because I couldn't find that in your list anyway, I read it a couple of times. <laughs> to be honest I don't know. And it seems like they don't care about losing you as a customer. Yeah that's right, and if they don't have any shame in supporting genocide, yeah, being committed by Israel, then you know what? You shouldn't feel any shame in boycotting them. And do you make sure that from today no other bean owned by these mugs is found in your home. Yeah, and I'm not speaking as somebody that's just preaching. Ever since I found out that Caterpillar, you know the bulldozer company that was used to mow down Palestinian homes, yeah, Christians boycotted Caterpillar because of what they were doing in Palestine. And the Sheikh was saying Christians can boycott Caterpillar but Muslims can't boycott Coca-Cola. Ever since then I have not touched Coca-Cola, yeah. And you, those of you guys that know, you know, yeah. Even that picture behind me, that's right, that's a picture of Masjid Al-Aqsa in a bottle in a river. Yeah, I found this in my first visit when I went to Al-Aqsa in Palestine and ever since then it hit me here and every video yeah, that Muhammad Hijab has done here, that Ali's done here, that I've done here, you guys have seen that in the back. Yeah, so Palestine has always been in our hearts. When they entered Aqsa, I'm sorry, that was going too far, way too far. You desecrated our mosque and you expect us not to do anything? No, 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 no. Lavazza? No. If I see Lavazza, mate, no way Jose. And then Arsenal said the following, As with any employees of Arsenal, our players are entitled to express their views on their own platforms. Waffle waffle. That said, okay, we have spoken to Mo about this so he understands the wider implications of his post. What wider implications? Tell us as well so we can understand. Because here, you know what, it reminds me of Mesut Ozil. Yeah, he stood up against the Muslim genocide and ethnic cleansing that's taken place in East Turkestan in China. And you know what happened? When China had a stroke and hit back, you guys didn't back him one bit. And fast forward, when it came to BLM, Alhamdulillah, yeah, all praise be to Allah and thank God you guys developed some sense and you backed the players. Yeah, you didn't uh, have meetings expressing concerns of any wider implications and all that nonsense mate. You and the players pushed 
what was right. But it seems that if any issue concerning Muslims in particular comes up, Arsenal seems to have a problem with it. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm seeing a trend here. So Arsenal, you really got to explain yourselves because this is absolutely pathetic. Yeah, you cannot be sitting in the middle, oh wait, wider implications. Well, let me tell you about the wider implications of allowing genocide and ethnic cleansing taking place. Yeah, the wider implication is you are arming people that our children will have to face up to. Yeah, that's the problem that we had with other German leaders of the past. You know what I'm talking about. So what we do is when we see stuff like this happening, I'm sorry, it's all clear. Yeah, but let me end with a, a good story. Yeah, As you guys know, the owner of Chelsea, Roman Abramovich, he is a funder of the Zionist settler group Ilad, who is cleansing Jerusalem of Palestinians. So a couple of uh, days ago, we saw poetic justice when Leicester City came head to head with his club, Chelsea in the FA Cup final and Alhamdulillah thumma Alhamdulillah Leicester won and not only that here you can see Hamza Chowdhury and Wesley Fofana waving the Palestinian flag in full view in solidarity of the oppressed in Palestine here from Wembley. That's right and you can see the pictures a few news outlets picked up as well and as far as I know Leicester City didn't call Hamza Chowdhury and Wesley Fafana and having meetings expressing concerns of any wider implications. Pathetic mate. Yeah Arsenal you're pathetic. Shame on you. Yeah and Leicester City respect. Alright guys let's leave it there and let's stay on top of this. Let's keep sharing the videos guys. This is definitely hurting them. You can also see yeah, Israelis are paying for adverts to go in front of our videos. Pathetic mate, yeah, pathetic. You're showing your weakness and we're gonna exploit it, yeah, until you stop oppressing our brothers and sisters. Until next time guys, Assalamu Alaikum.